athletes, are you struggling with not feeling enough in your coach's eyes? Maybe you're not measuring up to your parents' expectations or even worse, not measuring up to the expectations that you have set on yourself. Those are pretty heavy topics. What's up everybody, my name is Coach Jay. I'm a girls basketball development coach. I also love using that orange ball to spread the gospel. So today we are, we are going on some Bible time today. Guys, I have just been extremely encouraged recently. Um, just some awesome words that I feel like the Lord has been planting in my heart and inspiring me to just kind of share with you guys. Um, a lot of those topics that I just hit on, I thought a lot about when I was an athlete or I saw those pressures in other teammates. And now me being a coach, um, I just see the reflection of that in my athletes where they're really putting a lot of of their worth in their performance and I, I see that every day um so i just wanted to bring you guys some encouragement straight from the bible straight from god's word straight from the truth and i just hopefully it leaves you with some encouragement today okay so like i said i have experienced those emotions those are extremely heavy um a lot of times no one is harder on ourselves than than us okay um and wanting to to reach those expectations that we have just set on ourselves or people have kind of portrayed onto us or um you know all that good stuff so um again i have felt that it's not the most fun thing and sometimes we can really hold a lot of weight in the words that people say to us both negative and positive but i'd want to encourage you that one of the best things that we can do is go straight to the Bible, straight to what God says about us and find that truth instead of truth in other people's words. Um, because again, whether they are negative or positive, they are coming from man a lot and we wanna make sure that we just ground ourselves back in what the word says. So if you are struggling right now with really um, setting a lot of high expectations on yourself or you feel like you're not measuring up to what your coach or your parents are setting before you, I want to leave you with this verse. Um, it is Psalms 139, 14. Um, a lot of us know it, but it is, I. but the word says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful and I know that full well. Let that just sit. We are enough in God's eyes. No miss layup, no turnover, no ball dribbling off the foot could ever diminish how he sees us as humans and most importantly as his creation. But you're probably asking, Jay, how does knowing that help me make a layup? Um, it actually doesn't. Practice does that, so get in the gym and work on it. But believing and knowing that God's worth for us and how God sees us doesn't change based off of our performance can really take a lot of stress off of us athletes when pretty much our world is about performance base. We put a lot of worth in how we perform, what the scoreboard says, what the stats she says, what the newspapers say about us and how our teammates respond to us. But knowing that again, it does not change in God's eyes is super, honestly, it just takes so much stress off of me because he is consistent. All I'm gonna say is one day athletics ends and you're gonna be left with the question, where does my worth lie without my performance? So I just wanna give you the head start into the mindset of knowing that your worth is not in your performance. How you are as an athlete does not determine the value as a human. God sets that value. And he even sets it so high that he says we are more precious than rubies. And there's a verse in Isaiah that I love and I'm about to read. Isaiah 43, 4 says, Since you are precious and honored in my sight, and because I love you, I will give people in exchange for you, nations in exchange for your life. In God's eyes, we are precious and honored. He loves us so much that he exchanged nations for our life. That's just a, a story that we know in the Old Testament with God delivering people to the promised land. At the end of the day, working hard in your athletics is extremely glorifying to the Lord. I believe that full heartedly. We can work in excellence. We can treat people with love as we're, as we're competing. We can steward our athletic ability in multiple different ways but i want to encourage you to not let your sport become your idol do not let this ability that the lord has blessed you with become greater and higher than him himself you are enough in his eyes you were created by the creator and he loves you no matter what he loves you whether you have a 20 point game or a 20 turnover game so i just want to leave you guys with that encouragement today if you're feeling the pressures if you're feeling like you're not measuring up or you don't have much value Go back to the word, go back to this life-giving Bible, these words that are in this, in this book. 
go back to them, read them, study them, meditate on them, pray, let the Lord guide you. But with that being said, guys, thank you so much for listening to this video. I hope it left you with some encouragement. Comment down below if there's any verses that maybe you go to when you're not feeling enough or worth it or valued or, or seen or, or, or all those tough feelings that we will face. Comment down below. Um, and yeah, expect more videos like this. I just, there's a lot of things that I've taken notes on and wanted to, to, to speak about and hopefully encourage you guys. So make sure to subscribe to catch up on those videos as they come out. And yeah, you are enough because you are created in his image and yeah, period. <laughs> I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I'll catch you in the next video.